Lieber Charles Michel, sehr geehrter Herr Ratspräsident, willkommen im Europäischen. Charles Michel, welcome uh, to um, Parliament in your new capacity. Um, we have valued your work as uh, building bridges uh, in your time in Belgium. Obviously, that's uh, one of the key parts of working in politics. And I would like to wish you the best of luck in your work. You will need luck in the work ahead because um, increasingly the European Council has blocked progress in many areas over the last years. If I look back at the outcome of the uh, recent meeting, then the establishment of climate neutrality by 2050 is a big achievement. Thank you very much for that. But in many other areas, there is still no progress. If you're looking at the paying, paying the costs, for example, example of the uh, transition, then um, there's been very little discussion on that. The Finnish president uh, really didn't mention it, uh, while outside uh, students, farmers, uh, businesses are waiting for certainty, while the question of the budget is very much uh, passed over. So you will have the responsibility of achieving clarity. and. Uh, prompting your partners to achieve that. For the MFF, uh, the uh, proposal for that we've seen from the Finnish presidency is pure provocation because it really hasn't uh, met the requirements for the investment that we need in the future of Europe. We hope very much uh, that we will turn away from a discussion on percentages and really get down to a matter of content where we can talk about important matters, not just about numbers. My home country, uh, Germany, uh, is financing border protection in um, countries outside of Germany. Obviously, that's an important issue. Uh, it's not just a matter of uh, decimal places and percentage points. We need to have the courage to discuss these points, as it was the case with other points in the Council. Over the last five years, we've talked about issues relating to the rule of law in Parliament, in Poland, Hungary, Czech Republic, uh, Romanian, where people went onto the streets to demonstrate, to express their concern about the future. And these debates were hardly reflected in the European Council. Yeah, this week, we saw a discussion in Malta this week in the European Parliament where uh, a, a journalist was murdered for doing her job in Malta. She was investigating issues relating to corruption amongst the uh, governing elite. And there have been uh, resignations because of this, uh, issues that have related to the contact between organized crime and uh, political elites. These have hardly been discussed uh, in the European Council. Well, they relate to the fundamental values of Europe. So please put these issues on your agenda. Uh, Poland, Hungary, Czech Republic, the uh, heads of state and government need to have the courage to discuss these issues in the European Council. So colleagues, I'd like to also say that we recognize uh, the clarity that we now have uh, on Brexit, and we welcome that in the EPP. I'd like to thank uh, Guy Verhofstadt for his work as the Brexit negotiator for Parliament, and we as a Parliament uh, can welcome uh, the adoption of the withdrawal agreement. As we look to the future, we need to focus on partnership and friendship. We want close cooperation. Around, the half, around half of the population of the UK um, who wanted to stay in the European Union are in our thoughts, but obviously uh, the UK will be a third country, and anybody wanting uh, market access need to, needs to accept our conditions, whether we're talking about uh, agricultural products, whether we're talking about the City of London, and we will have to apply th these criteria to the future discussions where the European Parliament will play a central role. Brexit is a historical error, but we want to build a partnership, uh, developing a model uh, of uh, good neighbourliness. The um, 
opening of negotiations with North Macedonia and Albania has led to much frustration and disappointment in the region. So when you come to the Parliament next time after the next European Council, we would ask you uh, to give the green light for this. We need to reach out our hand to the Western Balkans, otherwise there will be great disappointment. Thank you very much.